Good day. Welcome to Keymores. I think went to Goodwill Saturday and when I walked in in their main display case, kind of like they had like shoes and all kinds of stuff just piled up in there. Uh, they had an Xbox for $9.99. They had a PlayStation 1, original PlayStation 1, so the kind of the bigger square one, and a Wii, which I didn't look at the price on that. And it was also a half price day, so $5 for an Xbox, original Xbox, uh, with a controller. The controller is missing uh, the breakaway cable, which I was fine. I got one of those. I got a spare one. So we're good there. And it is missing the power cord, which I also have. And it's just this is just uses a standard, uh, where's he at? Like a little figure eight uh, power cord. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, later on the life of Xbox, they came out with a new one where they just took off the end and put kind of like a, like a surge suppressor GFI circuit breaker on there. I think they were having some fires with the cables for some reason. Uh, that's okay. Cause I'm just going to plug this in when I use it, unplug it when I'm not using it and we'll be good there. So, and it did not have the, uh, audio video cable, which I don't have a spare. If I do, I can't find it, but we can take one off my other Xbox. So we're going to test this out and see if it works. I'll show you the receipt here. Uh, you can see I paid $5.34 for this. Really sweet. So I figured for that price, you really can't go wrong. You're going to get a controller and <clears throat> you're going to get the original Xbox. So I do have some spare uh, DVD drives I bought way, 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 probably you know, a long time ago. So I do have extra DVD drives for this. And it's in really nice condition. It's just dusty, like it's been sitting somewhere. Uh, it does have some candle wax on it. But you can see it's it's in absolutely really good condition. I think we're going to clean this up. But you can look in here, you can see it's got little little nicks and things, maybe some paint or something. Uh, there's no dust in the vents. And even on the back, if you look in here, it's kind of hard to see. But the fan, usually got on the edge of the fans, you'll get, start getting some dust. So I'm not going to even take this apart because why take it apart if it's not even dirty on the inside? Like I said, there's really no dust. So this is used probably very little. Uh, same way over here, these vents, there's absolutely no dust collecting on there. So we're going to give this a test. And see if it works and if i get my five bucks out of it if not we'll use it for something else but if it does work uh, we're going to clean this up and this will be kind of like in the uh the game room the other game room where we can uh play original xbox without having to move around the xbox so let's get the cable and let's plug it in and give her a test okay so this is going to be the very first boot in a long time oh that's beautiful i actually turned up the volume so you could hear it I really like this interface. Thought this was always great. I like to see what year. Let's see settings. Looks good. Okay, this is 2004. Yeah, really, just a great interface. Okay, so I do have a game. And have Defender. Thought that'd be fun to try out the disc. And this guy's got a little bit, a little bit of scratching on it, so that'd be a good, a good test disc. Are the drive spinning up? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, there it goes. Oh, good sign. Good sign. I'll get past the screen. Get past that screen. Let's hit start. start there's no same Let's see hey. new game saving to the hard disk that's a good sign I do hear it spinning up and down the drive so that's that sounds pretty good it's actually really nice and quiet too. And remember, this is Defender. We'll just give it a quick play just to test this out. Defender. 
Yeah, I really love the Xbox. They always had uh, really just fantastic games on here. Welcome to the Def- A lot of intros for Defender. Yeah, it's loading. That's good. Yeah, this is the way I played it. I had a TV set. This was probably uh, before LCDs were out. And, uh, you know, you had 480i. That was pretty Mac Daddy back in the day. I think I had a 32-inch Toshiba uh, tube TV, dual tuners. It was fantastic for this. Location, I am. Welcome to our training. Welcome to our training base, Commander Kyoto. Manu Kyoto. Maneuver your fighter ship through the Stargate rings ahead of you. Whoa! Please do not skip at me, or you will have to start again. The blue objective beacon will mark the next gate ring you are looking for. Okay, well, you get the idea. Looks like we got a keeper. So next we'll go and we'll do a little cleanup on this fellow. So let's go and take her out and give her a good cleaning. So let's give this bad boy a clean. I'm going to use a couple things. Uh, normally I'll use like alcohol uh, just to get off the initial uh, crud if it's really on there good. Uh, but see like the wax here, I'll probably just use my fingernail and that'll do that pretty good. So it looks like new. But uh, normally I'll take some rubbing alcohol and just kind of wipe it off, clean it off. That'll get all the, the grease and the grime and all that stuff. But this one I'm going to use your standard window cleaner or i really been liking this it's uh, totally awesome la is totally totally awesome what i like about this it says uh it's good for cleans everything washable spray on wipe off uh removes blood stain of course you know you get a lot of blood stains on your consoles grease wine liquor liquor i could see probably a lot of liquor on your consoles gum oil glue coffee pet stains some inks fresh paint varnish hair dye i guess if you're doing you know dyeing your hair while you're drunk and you're bleeding. And then uh, food stains, grape juice, berry juice, and many more. Dilute before use. But we're just gonna give this little good old fashioned squirty squirt. And sometimes I'll use a paintbrush. I got a little paintbrush that I like and I got, of course, got the old, the old dirty rag here. Uh, paintbrush, you wanna use it before it's wet. At least brush off the dirt, loose dirt. But I'm not super worried. I just want it to look a little nicer than this. And you'll kind of see us. We got some more, a lot of uh, candle wax on here. She had a lot of candle wax, but you don't have to be perfect. Just a little, look a little better than what it is right now, so it's presentable. Because this is going to go back on the uh, uh, shelf, and we're going to actually use this guy. Hopefully, let's see. Let's get a little bit there, up there. But we want our stuff to look nice. We start off fairly decent. Like I said, a paintbrush works really well on this, especially if we're getting into like the grooves and things like that. And let me grab the paintbrush for you guys. Where's he at? This is my favorite paintbrush. I use this for cleaning. A lot of dirt and dust on computers and things like that. Especially if you want to be gentle. But you know, you can kind of get in there and get some of the loose dirt off of it. You see that does a really nice job. Especially got little grooves and things like that to get into. And we're going to kind of use it on. Well, we got some paint in there. But like these vents here, it's a good way to start off. See, already it gets a lot of that out of there. But some of the stuff's been on there for a long time and ain't going to brush off. But it's nice to get loose things. And so, like for this guy, I'll just kind of moisten my little towel. Uh, normally I'll do like a really thorough cleaning of this stuff, but since this is more of a, it's going to be used, you know, I'm not super worried about the back, but we do want it presentable, especially the front, you can see already, I'm getting some of the dirty fingerprints off, the smudges, years of gunk. She looks a lot better. Sometimes you want to leave a little bit on her just kind of for the the patina. But this is something special, I guess. So, 
paint. A lot of, a lot of wax. A lot of wax. And then, of course, more paint. What kind of paint? It all scratches off. Not too worried about that. Oh, the main thing is to get it a little cleaner. There you go. What do you think? Are we a lot better? A lot better? A lot better. Well, there's going to be scratches on it. This is older console, so. And go into each groove. This is going to take a little while. But at the end, you know, you're going to be going, oh man, that looks nice. Yeah, the paintbrush, if this was just kind of like a dry dirt, it would have been uh, easy. But this has kind of been on there for years. Figure this this thing is probably, uh, oh, it's, I think it's said 2004. That's about 16 years old. This may have been a little later in the Xbox life, too. There we go. Much nicer. And then once that dries off a little bit, get all the wax. Let's see, we got a lot of, looks like a really smudgies there. You can't see it, just the camera does pick it up, though. That's, that's definitely... That's not too bad. There we go. Well, and once that dries off, it should look a lot nicer. Let's see if we get some of these grooves over here. There we go. Much better. Much better, guys. Perfect no. Better yes. Ooh, that's all wax again. I thought it was paint, but... It's okay. Perfect. And there you go, much nicer. Let me get a little more squirt on here. Like I said, you can also try the awesome. Uh, you might want to test that on some plastic things. That's a little more stronger. And you do have to, so you have to dilute it. So, there we go. There we go, very nice. Much better. Significantly better. Yeah, definitely you can see, oh, the little wax definitely shows up. Didn't see them just by looking at it. Okay, there we go. So that is one $5 Xbox. How cool is that? I think we did really good, especially if you can get a working one for five bucks. I thought maybe um, this would be broke. Especially, you know, it's these older ones, you'll see a lot of the uh, the drives are bad. And once you got a bad drive, you got to hack them and all that stuff to get the uh, oh, more wax. The drive to, drive to key to the Xbox. But this one, apparently, we did good. And I was kind of figuring that just by kind of looking at it from the, without having any dirt in the vents and things like that, you knew this probably was not used very much. It's nice to see one of those. Most like somebody used it when it came out, got bored of it, and then put it away. Or just let it sit in the closet getting dirty. So anyway, there you go, Mr. Xbox, five bucks. We love you very much. And we're going to have a lot of fun with you. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's you guys. Have a great day.